Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here, and today I'm bringing another coin review because I've received a amazing box of silver that has just some spectacular things in it that you just it will blow your mind. And in fact, there is something very special in the very large box that I have that will be. Well, it's a mystery. That's all I'm going to say. And you, you really want to be subscribed and watching what is to come. Because when I announce what I will eventually announce, it is going to be a very quick event. Yep, that's right. So, in this explosive series, what could I have that would be monstrous enough or gigantic enough to warrant such an opening. Well, da -da -da -da, I bring you the third in the series of the big five. That's right. Now, this is a awesome, awesome coin. It's a five rand coin. And as you can see here, it's the 2021. Now, this is already the third out of five in the series. And if you haven't collected it, oh, I don't know. Um, you're going to be paying some, you know, big premiums. But the third one as well, I also think is a superb one to have because people will still seek it. Uh, the first one, uh, I believe, was the lion and that we had the elephant. Or it might have been the other way around, quite frankly. I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure it actually was the elephant, but the lion has proven incredibly popular. Um, the elephant um, is also amazing as well. But look at this rhino. And we'll have a good look and we'll have a, a, a really good examination. I'm going to leave it in this case for the moment because I'm on about my fifth attempt to film this. And it is not easy to do because... Most of this coin is matted, but there are some bits of uh, a high gloss or high polish finish. As you can see there along its head and its body, look at the texture on this coin. It is stunning. It is a very typical portrait of a rhino and something that you could easily identify it with and it's very, very subtle. And the South African men really do a amazing job as far as I'm concerned. We have the maker's mark just above the eye in Africa. And I'll zoom in and show you. There we go there. And then we have the shield and crescent. And then we also have the series, the big five with the, uh, the year 2020. So wowzers, look at this. What do you guys think on first impressions? I am blown away by that, I think. Wow. And it is a right pain in the backside to film. And I, I don't think anyone could do it justice trying to film it regardless of what camera you have um so that if, in one way that's a challenge <laughs> try to film this thing if you can be my guest it is so intricate and so detailed i don't think you'll ever be able to capture how it's layered without a video and uh, i think it is a very very beautiful coin I think I actually am collecting the series. I will need to have a look. But here we have on the back, as we do with all of the series, you have two rhinos. Now, normally with the lion and the elephant, you actually see two halves of the face kind of almost mirrored. Whereas this is just like a side-by-side -side view. And I think this is much better. See the little ears above. You can see that horn. And 
and you just you get a feel straight away of how rough that skin's going to be. That's what I think. And smack in the middle, as always, you get the five rand one ounce Alpha Golf nine 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 for the you know silver uh, amount. So why is there a hype? Well, it's the big five, and you know the legends go that when people went and did trophy hunting back in the days, um, which is in my mind, as a hunter, I find it horrific to do trophy hunting. Um, but yeah, um, but they were warned. They were warned about the, you know, the five deadliest, you know, animals, apparently one of them being obviously a lion, one of them being, uh, about, um, the elephant and of course the rhino and then there were a couple of others and let's have a look inside of this leaflet here because inside we're going to see the others in the series but before i open it up i want to show you just the face of this look how beautiful that is and i love the fact that they come with a from the silver trade with a little silicon gel in here and stuff and on the back you have the barcode and everything. But we have a COA, which on first glance, if you don't look at it in proper light, you won't notice. But as I've shown before, you're going to see the hologram for the South African mint here. Coming up all the way across. So there's 15,000 in this series. And it also says, this is to certify that this legal tender coin was minted by the South African Mint Company. So it is a legal tender coin. That's super awesome. I don't think you're going to see anyone pulling out a book and selling it uh, or trading it in. Yeah, this is going to be one of the money shots here for you guys. So we have had in February last year the oh so it was the elephant my apologies so in february last year the elephant came out and then in august last year the lion came out and obviously this being february we have the rhino so that means then in august we'll have the uh leopard or cheetah Looks more like a, a leopard to me. And then in February next year, we'll have the final release, which is the ox. How beautiful is that? And we have a lot of information regarding here. And you can pause the video and have a read through this. But it is just something to behold. Hey, the wowzers, it's about the coin. It is just beautiful to look at. It's beautiful to hold, has a lovely, smooth, round capsule, not the jagged edges, but then it would have to because it has to fit very neatly. I'm kind of a perfectionist here, and I want to make sure I get this in just right because I don't want to break anything. There we go, it's all back, all nicely lined up again. And look at that. That is beautiful. Well, I'm curious to know what you guys have, uh, you know, on your mind, what you think about this coin. Do you like it? Do you like the texture? Does it actually mirror the image on the actual drawing here? So if we have a look here at the skin and everything else. I mean, a rhino is going to be a hard coin to do, but look at what the South African Mint has done. They have really smashed it out of the park with the details on that. And the South African Mint, in my mind, is definitely one to be watching. I know everyone always talks about the Perth Mint is so great and so amazing and, 
you know, I mean, they are a great mint and they do make some really good series, but at the same time, this is an underdog as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, the South African mint put a ton of effort and work into their designs and they're making something very special in my view. And, you know, I personally say, jump on board, start getting, if you can, you know, as a collector, or maybe even as an investor, start collecting some of these beautiful pieces and then decide in the future what you're going to do. Because I can tell you now, I have seen the prices for the lion itself in excess of £150 or about $200 for one ounce of silver. But it is just something to have and to hold, and it's beautiful. Now, there, to play devil's advocate here, there is some of the kind of faff where it says, hey, look, it's in a giant, you know, uh, package and stuff. Well, you know what? My Simpson stuff is, and they go from the Perth Mint, all came in packaging and everything else. But you know what? For the most part, I took them all out of uh, the boxes that came in. Yes, I did leave the ones that came in the package alone. But for the most part, I took them all out of the packaging and I have them on display. At the end of the day, that's what I'm happy to do. Um, I love to have them on display. I love to look at them. I love to see them. And uh, this would be no exception. This would just go straight into... Um, you know, one of my many albums, well, boxes or whatever. Um, and then I would take the packaging itself and I would put it in a box and store that separately because it is just so beautiful. But I love it. I think it has really captured all the details properly. And this is an extremely tough coin to film because it is matted and... A lot of people will think, oh, no, it's matted, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I've, I've had issues before about matte coins. In fact, one of the latest ones that I had uh, recently filmed was the Krusty coin. Now, I was upset with that being matted because I thought that they could have done so much more. But this here is matted and the detailing on it is just superb. Absolutely, in my view. Well, please make sure that you like, comment down below, let me know what you have to think about it. If you're not subscribed and you do want to see more, hit that subscribe uh, notification and hit the bell, and then you'll be able to see all the videos that come out in the future. If, uh, if you don't, you're going to miss out on something big. That's all I'm going to say. Something big. <laughs> All right, enough of the silliness, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you for watching, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.